Uh, so um, we're going to be unpacking our MakerBot. It was uh, brought up by air from Boston, where it was overnighted from New York, where they're put together by MakerBot Industries. So now, the MakerBot guys, they were originally a collective in New York, right? Um, a number of the MakerBot folks are members of NYC Resistor, which is a hackerspace in New York City. Right. Um, but MakerBot has been spun off as like their own right. commercial company. Okay. Um, and the, the, the Cupcake CNC is their big product. Okay, so, so the Cupcake CNC is, is one version of the MakerBot. Well, MakerBot is the company, and cup, the Cupcake CNC is one of their products. Uh, okay. And so. they make like different extruders and stuff, and they're selling like the cables and different things that you need. Cool. Um, and it's actually a child of the RepRap project, which right. you might have heard of, yes. which is um, a self-replicating um, rapid prototyping machine. Okay. No, this doesn't. Uh, this is a rapid prototyping machine, but it doesn't make itself, right? It can make a number of its components, and the most awesome thing is, if you print components, it will, and you send them back to MakerBot, they'll pay you for the components that you printed. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So let's go. All right. So I believe in this box we've got. Oh, there's where we need to go to get the instructions. Is wiki.makerbot.com/cupcake. Right. And if we open this, we have all of the beautiful wooden laser cut parts. Right. Which so these I, were done on a 2D laser cut printer, yes, right? Yes, exactly. They have a, a really, really nice epilogue laser in um, at, at NYC Resistor, and they, they did these there. Um, so so how do you know so much about this stuff? Because you're, you're a uh, software programmer by day, I right? do computer security work. I do some programming and like antivirus analysis right. and that kind of thing. Um, but this is like part of what I do for fun. Right. Okay. So I, I mean, I've been following the MakerBot project since they got it started. I saw the original one back in February when I went down and visited NYC right. Resistor, and I've been really excited about getting one ever since. So some of the parts are laser cut acrylic. Right. Let me see if see if I have sufficient fingernails to. There we go. It's Ooh, beautiful, go. clear laser cut acrylic. Ta-da! So that's going to look totally... Unscratched by human hands. Yes, I'm going to carefully put it back together. Um, and then the other parts are this laser cut. It's like a light wood. Right. Um, and that's of, for the exterior of the case. Yeah, right? exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. And you can see there's these little... Um, I don't know if you can see that against my finger, but these are where you, like the screw goes into here and then there's a bolt in there. Right. And the, the wood actually holds the bolt in place. Cool. Yeah. So they clearly thought it through. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And this is the actual stage that you do the printing on. Right. So it's it's got like an etched. I don't know if you can see that it's got an etched texture on it. So, so how that, big is that? Um, I don't know. That's what like three by three inches. Yeah. Ten by ten centimeters, roughly. Yeah. And so, um, it can, so the MakerBot can do ten by ten can by up, up to twelve, right? I think it goes something it can like go a little that. Higher. Yeah. yeah. About roughly the size appropriate enough of a cupcake. Right. Yeah. And we only have the plastic extruder head, but there's also, I understand, a um, cake frosting extruder head called a Frostruder. <laughs> yeah. So let me get the rest of this out here. Oops. It's like a model kit, eh? Yeah, exactly. Except minus having to like break the stuff out of the plastic. Right. But this is beautifully made. I love the look of that. I love that it's made out of wood. That's yeah, just that's really, so, really so great. Awesome. Second box. This is going to be the gear itself, right? Yeah, this is all the. Um, we have the hardware burrito, right. which is all the like nuts and bolts and plastic bits and everything. Right. Uh, we got here. Here's all the belt and pulley hardware. This is the very important USB to TTL serial cable. Right. Here is the. Generation 3 MakerBot Electronics Kit, mostly, as I love that it says mostly <laughs> assembled. <laughs> There's some sound synthesizing going on over there. And here we have, I'm not sure what we have here. Let's see. Uh, I 
think this is, oh, here's our stepper motors. Right. Three, three, three glorious axes of stepper motors. They have to drive. Yeah, they really are. They have to drive the, um, the screw thingies. We have, it's a rods kit, yeah. so there's um, all of the rods that connect the wood pieces together and so then the three. that's what the printer head actually rides on, Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. So it's got like one smooth one and one uh, um, screw-like one yeah. that the stepper motors move right. things along. Yeah. Now this can extrude, like it's 0.2 millimeters is its resolution, yeah. right? Yeah, it's uh, having having seen objects made with it, you can definitely see that like there's a bead to it. Right. What I understand is that the really, really high-end expensive um, 3D printers, they keep the chamber that you're printing in um, really hot so that things sort of stay melted partly right. until you take it out and let it cool. Right. Whereas this like fully cool, the, the ABS plastic fully cool down with the MakerBot, so it's it's not quite the same like cohesiveness, right. but you can sort of melt it and sand it down yeah. afterwards and yeah. make so a smoother surface. You can surface. It. You can do yeah. some subtractive stuff after. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. So we just have one box left. This is the Plastruder Mark IV. So this, this, this is, is the, the extruder head. This is the actual right. extruder head that the plastic, which we've got some demo plastic over here, it comes with. Right. So it looks like spaghetti, right? right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Somebody was saying, that looks just like the stuff I I edged my lawn with. Right. <laughs> so. This is the, uh, this the, is the brains actual of the beast, right? Yeah, this is, so we've got the hardware oh, kit, which is just nuts and bolts. We're gonna get this done today. That's the plan. You're dreaming. I'm giving a talk about it You're at 4.30, so I've only got a couple of hours. Um, so this is the laser cut parts for the actual extruder head, so it, that's like the case for it. And then here, whoops, oh, that I think was just the end of the Anyway, I'll get that later. Um, this is uh, the heating element and all the sort of the actual extruder parts. And we've got uh, this, I don't know why the pulleys, oh, these are printed on a MakerBot, actually. Okay, let's take a look at that. So, as I was saying, you can see Mm -hmm. You can see sort of the texture of it, yeah. um, but at the same time, like it's pretty, it's pretty tight. It's mm -hmm. pretty solid. Um, so these are the actual pulleys that the belts. Where are the belts? Belts are over here. These are the pulleys that the belts ride on. Right. Um, and these are what you can print yourself and send back to MakerBot, and they'll give you, give you cash. And they use, of course, as all good DIY electronics projects do, rollerblade bearings. Right. So let's see if I can get that. Ta-da! Cool, that's great. Yeah. And then we've got... I think this is the heating? No, this is a motor. Oh. I think this is the motor that pulls in the plastic. Right. Um, and I think actually this stuff is the heating element. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. That's, that's the whole thing. Cool. So I'll let you get to uh, putting it together. I'll check in with you later Yeah, check on. in when we've started to, to okay. get it going. Thanks, Lee. Awesome, thanks.